come with me and we're going to be replacing this timing belt on a 2013 Peugeot 208. The first thing we need to do is remove the inlet manifold and it is a little bit tricky. I've just had to drop the engine mic down a little bit so we can drop the engine and just wiggle it out. It is a bit fiddly but nevertheless we need to remove that so we can get that cam cover off. Now that we've got the cam cover off we need to set the timing up on the engine. Now these two little cutouts here they both need to be facing roughly about five o'clock. Now we're underneath the vehicle and we need to lock a crank and you need this special tool and there is a little recess in the block there where it just slides through and it locks into the flywheel let me just slide it in and that's locked and make sure it's all the way in and just double check it with an 18 mil on the crank now we need to lock the camshafts and with a special tool it is cut out so it just slides over the cams like so you need two bolts out of the cam cover to lock it in place and once they're tight tighten that allen key now we've got the vehicle raised again, we need to remove the inner wheel arch to gain access to the tensioner so we can remove the alternator belt and the water pump belt, get yourself 13 and just release the tension of the belt. Now we've got everything out of the way, we need to remove this little plastic cover with some 410s and that will uh, reveal the tensioner and the roller. We need to just apply this tool to the crankshaft to hold it so we can slacken this bolt off as well. Now we've got the cover off, you can see we have got the tensioner and the idler there, just two 10s and then we can get them removed. And there we go, that is the cam belt drive pulley removed. And as you can see, it does split in two halves because it is a free floating pulley. All we've got to do now is get up the top and remove the camshafts and pull the belt off. Tell a lie, me getting carried away with taking stuff apart, that belt will come off without taking the pulleys off. You've just got to fiddle it out. Anyway, I don't know if you can see it, but look at the state of that belt. That's for around this size. Right, let's get the new one on. Right, the belt that we're going to be putting on is a Deco one. And I'm going to show you how to get them in without removing the cams. Literally just pinch it down. Feed them all the way down. Hang on, you have to bear with me. It is a bit of a nightmare. Just put your hand down and help it down. getting somewhere near, hook it round, give it a twist and then feed it down lovely jubbly and we can get it on the crank fully. Now we're back underneath the vehicle, we've got a new idler and a new tensioner fitted, put your crankshaft pulley back in but leave it loose and then get on your tensioner and literally get on and let me give it a second, get the allen key on it and give it a turn anti-clockwise and you should see that the crank turns ever so slightly as you tighten it up and then you get your marks lined up and torque it up to 20 newton meters now we need to tighten the crankshaft bolt and that is at 50 newton meters and then 180 degrees now we need to remove the locking pins out of the crank and the camshafts can i do that with one hand or can i help anyway we'll lift that off and we'll just get on our 18 mil now and we will just turn this engine over and make sure our marks line back up now we've turned it over, I don't know whether you can see, but I have put two Tipex marks there. We'll just slide our tool on, just to double check, and it should just fall on. Bloody perfect. Now we're happy that all our timing marks are aligned up properly, we can get it built back up. Now it's all built back up, and we have put a new auxiliary drive belt on it as well, because it was all shredded. When you change the timing belt on these, it is always best practice to remove the sump. Now we've got the sump off, the reason why we are taking it off because of this oil pickup and with it being a wet belt or a rubber belt all the fibers they actually block this filter up here and it is always good practice to take them off and get them clean and not only that pickup needs cleaning the actual sump needs cleaning itself can you see all that crap in there that's just horrendous that is okay. awful and there we go that is the sump back on with a brand new oil filter and a new sun plug. Let's drop it down now and we'll get an oil in it. And there we go, now we've got the car dropped down to working out. We, I have put some oil in it. All I need to do now is get on the key and give it a big start. And there we go, that is one car now back up and running. And before anybody moans, I did wait two hours before I put the oil in after I put new sealants on the sun. Anyway, there you go, that is one time belt replaced on the Peugeot 208. Let's take it down the road now for a bit of a test drive. 
and we'll get it soon.